right here. Uh, yeah, I checked the list and I think that was the Ari Cannon without the without the Sinan. So you like I was talking about it, Ari Cannon with sign without Sinan is really bad. Like even playing Klee into that it's fine. So Tari like if you look at the matchups This is favorite but we know that he bans this. This is playable. Not this is like 30 40 percent without sign and probably. Uh, this is really bad. This is really bad. So if I if I ban Ari Cannon, I have two fucking unplayable matchups for darkness. Which which would be awful. Uh, and then I have uh, like 50-50 matchups with the... I mean, I have here good matchup and I have here like a... yeah, 50-50 matchup. This is obviously banned. So now, like, I have to leave a good matchup for Darkness. If I ban, if I ban this, I have zero good matchups for Darkness. So the only way I can win uh, on average is by leaving Ari Cannon, which is Ari Cannon without Sinan. Yeah? Yes, from row. Yeah, so we have to leave this, and now the question is do we ban Tariq or Pantheon? Uh, uh, darkness into this is better than Darkness into this. So I just decided to uh, leave the be a bit better matchup for this. And uh, Lee Zoe doesn't really care, like both are the same. Yeah, so I missed a uh, flip a coin or with the Darkness. Like, I needed to cure, like. Yeah, so I needed to hit the this matchup with the Lee and uh, not the Darkness. But I have Conchologist and Valfis, which is a good opener. The problem is we drew three unplayable cards in the matchup. Vagar is not playable in this matchup any, anytime soon. And upon like this matchup, like th this game would be won if Opon doesn't have action on two. Action on two wins this matchup so hard. Photonix, thank you for the 10 months. Welcome back. Like, without action here, we are winning so easily. Uh, yeah, so here you have multiple lines, but I think pass is the best line. Yeah, the severe like severe is a good to have on uh, five uh, like on four here, but what's the most important like action is way stronger than severe to have in this spot. So I'm playing this because uh, I could still play box if I want to, but I'm like hmm, maybe it's uh, maybe it's Vagar time. Like opponent didn't do anything here. Let's try Vagar. And it works out, we get the darkness buff, which is really big to get to 4 damage, 3 damage. I open pass because we are uh, down in the mana, we have box, so yeah, there is a lot of reasons to open pass here. CV reaction is unfavorable against darkness, it's 65% into darkness. 65 or 70%. Yeah, so the problem is here, opponent is leveling action, I would like him not to level action, but I can't really do anything about it. So I'm like, yeah, I could, darkness, like open, like you always take a swing with 3-4 here, because it's free. Now the problem is, if I use the, if I use the darkness, we get fucked by sharp, uh, by the shaped stone and sharp side. So I'm like, okay, if I pass here, then we take one of the uh, dots from equation and we get only fucked by sharp side later. Or really strong attack from opponent. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure here playing, uh, like I have to be aware of the rally, right? So I'm playing around Rally by doing those blocks. I can also stun, I, I had a lot of lines there. So this is also playing around Rally. So here opponent is uh, thinking for quite some time, probably uh, doing some math. At this point I'm sure he has one Rally in hand. Because if he had just units, 
he would be just jamming you on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure at this point, like when when the opponent take, is taking that long time based on how he played before, he must have rally because he's doing the math. Uh, what he wants to play, so I'm expecting opponent to have a rally unit plus one more spell. So I know at this point he has a shaped or sharp side. I'm like now depends how opponent pulls. Uh, he has either one of them. So I'm like, how can I bait him to the best of ability? I can't play box like boxing now would be very good. But the problem is if I box now upon the opponent plays action, I'm so fucking sad that I just want to concede. So we have to pass and he, uh, he's thinking for a really long time. Makes me think he might have action in hand or one drop plus shaped stone. So at this point I'm like he might have action and sharp side. And he's play, uh, thinking about playing either action or sharp side. So at this point, that's why I don't use Pocky Stick to ping the shield, because I'm certain he has a sharp side. Yes, yeah, Sena was a really good top deck here for me. I, I could have a next turn ruination if I need. At the burst, at the fast speed, we can. I could, but I think I'm going for the darkness and swing with Senna for the value. Like Bond has four cards. Like the pro, the, the, like I have to take a re, like either I play. Uh, up, up, yeah, I think we have a free pass here. Yeah, like we can maintain mana for the ruination. We keep the darkness. Opponent pass, so we are happy. The main problem is I have not enough mana. Now, like, see, he had action as well, I w and I was so aware that he has an action in hand. The problem is, if he has Absolver, uh, he can play Severe as well this round. And the problem is he had another Severe in hand. And, like, I couldn't really keep mana for Ruination because there was no point, due to the fact that Ruination doesn't really kill Severe. And we, ha we had no one, one mana ping to get rid of her. And yeah, we have to basically decide what we want to play around this, this fight. So I'm like, if I do this, I lose to Absolver. But if he has Absolver, I lose anyway. So consider, like if you have, but I'm thinking opponent is not that good. He might, like, even if he has Absolver, he might not even commit it, uh, and, like, for the Spell Shield. Like, because here, if you have Absolver, you have to pre-commit and give your unit Spell Shield and you win every time. Yeah, I can't do anything. But I'm thinking, he's not that good. Like, I could actually... Like, he, it's more likely he has a Rally. So, like, do I play around my opponent being a worse, or do I play around Rally? And I played around the wrong thing. I should have uh, I should have played the wrong uh, played around the rally here. Yeah, I was keeping mana for stun in case of uh, absolver. Value rally? What? This is a premium rally. What do you mean low value rally? This is the best rally he could have had here. Yeah, opponent trolling a bit with the attacks. 
I have no idea why he... Like, again, I told you guys, opponent wasn't too good. Like... <clears throat> yeah, so I'm like... There is no shot he has another rally, right? He already... Like, he was running free of rally. I'm like, okay, he, he has one of single combat as well, and one of cataclysm. But opponent drew triple rally against darkness. <clears throat> it wasn't the top deck, it was from the far right. Alright, so this game is over. Guys, it doesn't matter what he top deck you. I was that next round. No open swing. Oh, Shapeson didn't save him. I was dead on open attack. Not true. So we have Darkness against Ari Cannon, so this is a free win for me. And we have Premium Hand. Yeah, so I don't play turn 2 uh, here, Catalyzer, because it's too weak to... Cannon... <sighs> like, think Twin Discipline is... I'm very happy to trade Catalyzer for Twin Discipline. So opponent drew quite well, but guess what, so did we open box so I have mana for Pocky, in case of the recall. Pass in case I draw uh, Senna. Yeah, you want to threaten Ari here for sure. I the reason why I play Pocky right away, because one, Navori is a big threat, and uh, two, Big Willow is the big threat. Opponent has only the only way he can draw cards is Droplet, and he has six cards, uh, which punish. Leaving not using uh, right away uh, nuke on the droplet, and the only way to semi punish is a recall. There was no other punish, so obviously we play around six off instead of three off. And I know he had no recall because he didn't uh, even think about recalling when I boxed anything. So at this point, it's more likely he has big wheel, big wheel low or the. Or the Navori than a uh, recall. So I was very confident about using Pocky on Droplet. Why didn't I file on attack? Because there was no reason to. I have whale in hand. Yes, it will be on YouTube. Like I know, like I know opponent's hand. Use his Navori. Like I already know what he did, like what he has in hand. Like there is no reason to do anything here. Why not attack after darkness so he can't uh, goes to block here? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, it's pretty good for us. Again, no reason to commit whale yet. We are chilling.
We have another good... Uh... We have another good uh, swing with uh, Senna. Now that he played the one drop, we are uh, ready to discard the card to the get information. Yeah, I don't know about this play. I think he has twin discipline here. I'm pretty sure because this play makes no sense unless you have nopify or twin discipline. Yeah, and uh, this game over. And we discard Ari. Yeah, no reason to block Kenny. We don't want to lose Senna. We start with the pink on the Kenny. Gonna use darkness last. Oh, I decided to keep uh, hockey here. Okay. I didn't. Doesn't matter too much, probably. Open darkness. develop uh, into the six drop into little yeah so the doomed matchup left but again there is no sign in so i'm hopeful like 35 to 40 percent without sign in it's still annoying as fuck we have a good opener though we have zoe with pale which is good yeah so here opponent should just block and pass <laughs> Yeah, this is like okay. You. So the thing is, it's it might it is correct sometimes to do what opponent did. Because if your hand is recall recall or recall brick brick brick, and I have double Zoe, you are fucked. So, this play gives me a lot of like the problem is opponent is bad, and I already know that. So I'm 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 like. Am I doing? Am I gonna bothering hand, trying to hand read here? Because it is correct play, but it's correct play in like 12-15% of the cases. With the very specific hand from opponent and me. So now I know he has Wayfinder in hand probably. Because he's more blocky. So he drew a Wayfinder within uh, three cards. So I'm expecting one of these to be Wayfinder. He had Wayfinder in hand. Which is very surprising that he pre-committed. Again, that's what I was talking about. If you have Wayfinder there, he shouldn't be pre-committing... Uh, uh, because he's gonna draw those cards anyway. Yeah, so here... Uh, I mean, I got blessed by the Mogwai. <laughs> Opponent whiffed uh, on double absolver draw.
Yeah, I'm keeping uh, Resonality King Strike in case of some uh, protection. Or if he tries to recall, then we can commit it on Zoe. Yeah, just overwhelm for the Lee. Pretty good. Yeah, the game is over here. Why no vengeance in the deck? Vengeance in Lee Zoe. Hmm, sassy. Why does he not kill Zoe? How was the opponent supposed to kill Zoe? No, oh, he just he lost already a, a two cannons. He had only one cannon left in the deck. Like it was more likely not to uh, get a cannon from the wayfinder. Darkness. I have one vengeance in darkness. Opponent played around deny, I guess, by blocking. Okay, no more Kenny, that's big. And we are getting entire board with life still now, so. I am not sure about this Nopify. I think you keep Nopify for Zenith Blade. Like, what's the point of Nopifying? Like, it just doesn't do anything. It denied me 1 1 3 for no reason. And you lost a card. Yeah, I know he, his hand is double absolver plus car, uh, random cards. So it's very easy to play when you know what's uh, in your opponent's hand. And yeah, this is the this is the round where we can outplay opponent. What I do between the games? I slept. I took a nap. I took naps in my chair. On one check-in I almost uh, was too late because I didn't wake up from the alarm. That's some high copium play. Yeah, we are still okay with this. We can just take a pass after blocks. I know he has second absolver, so yeah, let's force him to play second absolver. Yeah, so I think this is game over. Like, I don't think there is anything to watch further here. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. And let us know what you think uh, about that one. Kurva mat!